Parts included in this kit, an instruction sheet, pilot orifice, burner orifice, gas valve regulator, conversion label in English, a conversion label in French, conversion information label, and a registration gas conversion. Recommended tools that are needed, 7 8 inch open end wrench, a 3 quarter inch open end wrench, an adjustable wrench, Torx T20 driver, a slotted screwdriver, a 5 30 seconds Allen wrench, thread sealant, and a flashlight. Versifier units are upgradable. The gas supply must be shut off and all electrical power to the appliance must be off. The gas control valve and the burner gas line is located under the firebox floor. The pilot orifice and the main burner orifice is located inside the firebox. Remove the top and bottom louvers simultaneously sliding the two spring latches toward the center until they are disengaged from the locating holes on both ends. Remove the screen assembly by sliding the rod right or left and then pull one end down and forward. The door has four latches that keep the door closed, two at the top and two at the bottom. Pull the latches toward you to unlock. The door is hinged and will swing open. When locking the door, make sure to lock the top latches first. To replace the items removed, simply reverse the procedure. Versifier burner module, burner orifice conversion. Remove log grate assembly, four screws. Remove the plenum, two screws. Loosen two screws holding pilot assembly, bend to the left approximately an inch. Remove two screws holding main burner. Slide to the left off the orifice. Remove the natural gas orifice from the elbow. Apply a light amount of sealant to threaded end of LP orifice supplied with the kit. Thread LP orifice onto the elbow. Tighten. Reinstall the main burner. Reverse procedure. Tighten two screws. Adjust air shutter to fully open. Reinstall plenum. Tighten two screws. Pilot conversion. Do not remove the barrel clip. Remove the pilot hood by pulling up until it disengages from the barrel. Remove the pilot orifice from inside the barrel using a 532nd Allen wrench to unscrew. Replace the pilot orifice with LP number 30 stamped on the sleeve supplied with the kit. Install the small end into the barrel and tighten with the Allen wrench. Line up the notch on the pilot hood to the tab on the barrel and snap back into position. Make sure the two screws at the base of the assembly are tight. Converting control valve. Using a Torx T20 or a slotted screwdriver, remove the three mounting screws, pressure regulator tower, gasket and diaphragm spring components. Ensure the gasket is properly positioned on the new regulator tower. Install the new LP regulator assembly to the valve using new screws supplied with the kit. Tighten the screws securely to 25 pounds. Install LP ID label supplied to the valve where visible. Apply the conversion ID label supplied to the rating plate over top of the existing label. Conversion label must be filled out and affixed to the floor of the unit where visible. Proper setup and final preparation. Break embers into small eraser sized pieces and place across the burner ports as shown in the installation manual. Be sure to trail the embers up the left side of the burner ports to the pilot flame. Place sparingly lava rocks on the plenum. Do not put any lava rocks on the burner. Leak check the gas control and any connections you've made before operating the appliance. Close and latch the door, latching the top two latches first. Light the pilot and turn on the burner. 
Leak check the gas fittings at the burner supply gas line going up from the burner orifice. Replace the screens and install the louver panels. The conversion and setup is now complete.